Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Today we're heading over to the most expensive Chinese restaurant I can find. Now, I have an inclusion list, right? There's some criteria. One, they must have the Peking duck, right? Because Peking duck, you go anywhere, it's made a certain way, and that's it, right? You take a duck, you blow it up like a balloon, and you cook it, right? If you go anywhere else and they do something different, then it's no longer Peking duck. The people will be really mad. So, they have to have Peking duck. Right? And the price of the duck must be published on the official menu on the website. So here's the list. Mr. Chow at Caesar's Palace, 105 bucks. Mat 32 in the Venetian, 108 bucks. Blossom at the Aria, again 108 bucks. Red Plate at the Cosmopolitan, 118.88. Ring Li in the Rin, 122.88. And finally, Jasmine at the Bellagio, 128 bucks even. All right? Now, to compare, Peking Duck is available at a buffet near me back home at the Buffet of College Point, $32 all you can eat. So, let's check it out. The Jasmine at the Bellagio. Alright guys, so I'm gonna order a hundred bucks worth of stuff just to test out the menu. Let's see, we're gonna get the uh, soft shell crab for 20 bucks, which is under the appetizer section. The Yang Chao fried rice for 26 bucks, under the fried rice section. The walnut prawn for 38 bucks, under the uh, seafood section. And the egg roll that is $16. The most expensive egg roll I have ever seen. All right, so that adds up to 100 bucks. So check out the plate, guys. Fancy. It's about 12 inch diameter. And of course, I'm drinking their tap water. Because, you know, I, I don't want to pay for a bottle of water. Mmm. Just like the sink. Terrific. Alright, they're giving you two pairs of chopsticks. I don't know why. One is red and one is white. Next to a golden fork. These are gold, guys. I have to find out more about the why there's two pairs of chopsticks here. So that question for you, but oh, that's the one. Oh, I, great. Yeah. yeah, why is so there two? We have, we have two is one for, uh, for example, if you're uh, eating with a group of your friends. One for your own, one for share. Oh, so no that's tickets. excellent. Right, and especially with the uh, COVID season, we just want to put your own share. That's excellent. And especially it's different colors. You have no idea how many times, you know, I, I eat with people right. and I forget which one was the one like that's, that's like for the for the society chopstick, you know? Right, so the yeah. red one, I mean, I normally go with the red for the society. The oh. Right for Hmm. Okay, I hope that answers your question. I'm really impressed. <laughs> if this if this is not here when I leave, I didn't steal it. No problem. We'll I'm just saying. It, as, it as wasn't me. As a gift. Oh. <laughs> well, I call it the society chopstick because uh, in Chinese we call it gongfai, 
right? Which kind of like means society chopsticks. That's awesome. I'm looking at the plate, guys. I didn't notice it before because the pattern is so busy. But there's bugs are over it. You got a butterfly, you got ladybug, you got beetles. The details matters. All right, now, I'm not a rich person. So this is my first time dining in the most expensive Chinese spot. I'm just wondering if there's something I'm supposed to do to, you know, like, get the waiter to come over. Maybe angle the menu differently? Let's angle the menu differently. There we go. Maybe that means I'm done looking at the menu. Uh, I got the water. water. I just like to order food. Sure. Any questions on the menu as well? Or? Uh, no questions. I like no. to just place the order. Sure. What would you like? Oh, great. So I'll take the uh, soft shell crab, the young chow fried rice, mm -hmm. walnut prawn, and the egg roll. Egg roll? The egg roll. Is it a singular one egg roll? Uh, there's three pieces per order. Oh, three pieces? Oh, okay. Yeah, egg roll. Mm. We'll get the appetizer, the egg roll, soft shell crab to start, and then afterwards the honey water prawns and the yank shell fried rice. Thank you. And unfortunately, I have to take this beautiful plate away. Oh! Yeah. Was that the menu plate? It's a charger. Huh? It's a charger. It's a show plate. It's only oh, for show. It's only for show? <laughs> Guys, that plate was only for show. Hey, 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 I think he called it a charger. It's for show? Uh, wow, my mind is blown. Man, you rich people. It's crazy. A play for show? <laughs> Just like, the, the F, F. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. That alone was like, worth the walk over here in the 105 degree heat. Oh, by the way, there was a comment earlier about, oh, do you have any, uh, anything to say about the heat? Sure, it's hot. What else is there to say? I, I wish I didn't have to deal with it, but you know, it's out of our control. I mean, I could have Ubered. But I walked. I took the heat like a man. Unlike the uh, the spanking from the heart attack grill video. That boy, boy, that was embarrassing, guys. Make sure you check that video out. Uh, it's in my playlist. Good evening, sir. Hello. Good evening, sir. Okay. I guess the plate for actual eating has arrived. It's much smaller. It says exclusively for Bellagio. Fancy guys, fancy. Now that it's here, I, mu I must move the utensils closer because... There we go. Just move the two pairs of chopsticks over. Bring the cup in a little closer. Voila. All right, so while I'm waiting for the food, I'll go into further detail about why this is the most expensive Chinese restaurant in Vegas, right? Now, I mentioned earlier, I made a list. Inclusion criteria included that, uh, I guess I didn't say this one before, it must be in a luxury place, in the high end, right? It also has to be uh, present on the web which a menu which you can click from the official source none of that uh, Yelp photo of a menu from somewhere you know it doesn't work because those menus are never accurate you know and I based the price off of the Peking duck why is that exactly because 
Chinese people, when we go eat Peking duck, it better be the same thing. As the last time, for thousands of years, Peking duck has been the same. You alter that recipe, we'll be upset, right? So, of course, there's always going to be a restaurant that's going to sprinkle diamonds into your fried rice. And then that will be the most expensive restaurant. But that's phony baloney, right? That is being like weird and ridiculous. It's like that guy that wraps his steaks in gold and then charge you extra for it. That doesn't make it the most expensive steak. Oh, hi. Terrific. Just as, anywhere is fine. All right, that's the uh, soft shell crab. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so what was I saying? Right, the, uh, the guy that wraps the steaks in gold and then charge you extra for it, that does not make it the most expensive steak, even though it, it does charge you the most. You know what I mean? So, because the Peking duck is a great equalizer, I use that. All right, now how do you make Peking duck? I never made it. But the thing is, you take a duck, which probably costs any restaurant here in Las Vegas the same price, you blow it up like a balloon, and then you dry it for a certain amount of time, and then you cook it, like that. So, not much to it. The flavor is all within the duck itself. No fancy smancy, no celebrity chef, none of that stuff. So, very basic, the equalizer. Alright, so why didn't I order the Peking duck? It's a rip. I can get Peking duck back home for all you can eat. You know, 36 bucks. Just saying. So let's take a look at the soft shell crab appetizer, which costs 20 bucks. It's looking more like a soft shell spider. Got a lot of empty space around it. As I understand for rich people restaurants, empty space is uh, important. And it's so also in art galleries too. I can't decide which chopstick to use. I'll go the white one. Ah. Now, it, it apparently does not come with any type of sauce, so... Mmm! It's so good! The crispiness, the flavor. My heavens, this beats every single soft shell crab I've ever eaten in my life, including all those delicious ones from Noodle Town. Oh, it's the best one I ever had in my life. Even even better than the ones at Noodle Town back in New York. Yeah. It's crazy good. Mm. Mm. Now I'm gonna feel privileged by using the other set of chopsticks. Ooh, I'm eating with the society chopsticks. It's heavier. I guess for the uh, vision impaired, they can tell which one is the uh, society chopsticks. How do you like it, sir? Good. It was terrific. Thank you, sir. And he just took that clean, empty plate away. Sauce for the egg rolls, thank you. Okay, thank you. Alright guys, so here comes the sweet and sour sauce and the hot mustard sauce. He, I think he said be careful. It comes with a little golden spoon. Be careful though, one, huh? spicy. Oh, be careful, spicy, thank you. Enjoy it. Alright, got the egg rolls guys. 
Now, on the menu, it says egg roll with no S. So I thought it was just one egg roll, singular. Well, let's check it out. There's three of them, guys. Oh, you're supposed to eat out of this plate. I take it from this plate, put it on that plate, and eat it out of that plate instead of this plate, a bowl. So I'll do it, just so you won't complain. I'm gonna use the society chopstick. Put the egg roll on my plate. Switch over to the normal chopstick to eat it. Oh, now you can see the inside. He said be careful of the, uh, the hot mustard. I wonder how careful I must be. Oh guys, I just dipped it in there. It's not too bad. Well, the egg will taste ordinary. Kind of bland for that one. All right, now I have a funny feeling that if I don't finish this, the waiter is not going to bring the next thing. I think that's how it works. So I have to make it look like I finished it. Ah. Maybe I just tell him to take it away. I'll just put this plate over here on top. Now it looks empty. Oh, thank you. It worked, guys. He thought it was empty. You know, this is not my first time here, actually. I was here during the holiday season when they had a buffet available. And uh, I did a video of the buffet because it turns out you needed reservations or something like that. And they had no more spots. It was $88 and they had like dim sum and stuff. Uh, that's one of the videos in my playlist. Check it out. I'm really glad I'm able to, uh, you know, come by today and sit down and experience it for myself. Man, it's so posh. Doesn't cost... Oh, wait. Is that food? Oh, thank you. All right. And a bowl. Yeah, for the rice, right? Okay. Chinese people always eat the rice with the bowl. Sure. Okay. Oh, look at that. Thank you. And and a, and a third human being is bringing the, the rice. So the yang chow fried rice. Oh, thank you. Would you like me to scoop your rice in the rice bowl? Why, sure, thank you. Oh. Unless oh. people usually don't, I don't know. Well, Asian food, rice is always served in a rice bowl. Okay, so thank you. Nice set, you know, easier too. Okay, that's, that's good, that's good. That's good? That's good, thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay, Is thank you. Else? Oh, no, all good. Enjoy thank, it. Thank you. My God, do you see that? One human being bought the plate, which is now actually bigger. It has a one butterfly on it. Obviously, I don't have to even look exclusively for Bellagio. Is it? Right. The second human being bought this. The third human being bought this and scooped it into the bowl. Man, I feel like a king. You know, it's like in, in those movies, you know, like they have a staff to, uh, you know, wipe after number two. All right, let's take a closer look at the food. Here we have the shrimp with walnuts. There's a lot of white sauce on it, guys. And it comes with a couple of cherries and a stick all right now over here we have uh, the young child fried rice it's looking a little darker than what i'm used to and this is the resulting bowl after it's been scooped into it and oddly enough she did the chinese scooping style using two spoons right 
the way I do it. Now, she took the other spoon. So how am I going to do it now? So, just for you viewers, I will demonstrate the two spoon technique. You take one spoon, you hold it like this. You grab the other spoon and you hold it like that. And then you scoop the food, like, like a pair of tongs. Just saying. All right, so first I'm going to move this out of my way and do this using the very little spoon I'm going to try the fried rice it's good guys not the best I ever had, like the soft shell crab, but it's good. I give it a 7 out of 10. Alright, now, don't know if you recall, but I have a video called the uh, Instead of the Bacchanal Buffet, spending a hundred dollars over at the Beijing noodle number nine where I experienced the best version of this dish I've ever had in my life. Let's see if this one could match it. It's sizable. Well, I'm going to have to admit um, the Beijing noodle number no. 9 is still the best version of that dish I ever had. Right. I'm supposed to eat out of the bowl. And this was for the sauce. Gotta use a proper chopstick. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And boy, you rich people, you haven't made the whole fake decoy plate and everything. I would never have guessed. Have a good one guys. Now that's excellent service. They keep refilling my cup full of water. So let me tell you a story about the other occasion where the service was this good. Now I was in Brooklyn and a friend of mine invited me to join their group to go to a hibachi grill uh, restaurant somewhere in Brooklyn, right? We all got into a van. All right, so then we all, you know, went, ate there. Service was excellent just like this they kept filling up my water and I kept drinking the water they kept filling up the water I kept drinking the water why, why not right so before we all got back into the van I went to the bathroom you know and then we got into the van as it turns out the van started doing multiple drop-offs right they because it was like maybe like seven or eight of us so they stopped here stopped there stopped there and there and there and then um, the third stop from the end, and I'm at the end, right? They uh, hit a parked car, right? And uh, I don't know how they did it. They're dropping off, they're driving around the parking lot, hit a parked car. So they were trying to get away with it by driving away until some do-gooder just totally just like jumped in front and said, hey, 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 where are you going? I saw you hit the parked car. So it became a whole thing. So I'm standing there. And the you know what is calling. My God. So, so then one of the girls that was there, she was like 16, 15. 
And then she's like, oh, my parents are going to be mad. I promise them I'm going to be home a certain time. So I was like, okay, great. Uh, where do you live? Because she, oh, she, she, she indicated that she lived in between where I was have to go anyway. So I was like, you know, I'll walk you, right? So of course, it's calling. So I figured, you know, I'll get to the girl's house and then she'll let me use the, use the bathroom. So I got to, you know, it was like maybe a 10 minute walk. We got to her house. And I said, oh, by the way, may I please use the bathroom? Oh, no, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. You know, it's because, uh, you know, you're a guy and they don't let me bring guys in. And I said, oh, my God. You know, at that point, the you know what was at 99%. You know what I mean. And then so, what, what am I to do, right? So I just said goodnight to the girl. I stood out on the sidewalk looking for a dark corner. You know what I mean. And believe it or not, out of every street in New York City, it's like that street's the most well-lit street I've ever seen. There were even people outside playing dominoes, uh, speaking Spanish and stuff. I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Then I started walking towards home. Right? And um, it was now 200%. So I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I had to, you know what I mean? I ran up the stairs. And of course, it wasn't easy to, you know, I had to freaking, I mean, like everything was wet. Guys, good service, not always a good thing. But luckily, this is Vegas, so it's okay.